Well, new details today on a story we first brought you on WNY News at noon. A Sunday afternoon fire that ripped through a Riverview Apartments North has left a number of families displaced. WNY's Isabel Garcia talked with one woman today who lost everything and is now trying to rebuild what was destroyed. Tara Stevens had lived at 514 Jewett Street in Elmira for the past six years. After leaving for work on Sunday, she received the phone call about the apartment fire, and the first thing on her mind was finding her family. I honestly had just left for work literally 10 minutes before this happened. I got a phone call right after I got to work from my boyfriend telling me that the whole building was on fire, and all I could think about was my babies. I mean, I just prayed. I prayed to God that they got out. I didn't care about nothing else. The fire started around 3.30 Sunday afternoon in a neighboring apartment two doors down from Tara. She recalls returning to the scene as chaotic and heartbreaking. Fortunately, her family did get out safely. One day later, she's trying to salvage what's left over, but the situation remains grim. Basically, right now, we just came back to see if there was possibly anything we could save. Um, it didn't turn out very well. I mean, there's really nothing in there savable. But, I mean, basically, we just, we're just praying that somebody will help us. I mean, we don't really know what else to do. Tara says neighbors and friends have pulled together to offer support. The blessings that we have gotten, the people that are praying for us, the people that have asked how we were, the people that are willing to help us right now, it, it's, it's what's holding me together. There's so many good people still in this world that are trying to help us. It's the only thing that keeps me going right now. The Finger Lakes chapter of the Red Cross is assisting Tara and the other families affected by the apartment complex fire at this time. The fire still remains under investigation and we will continue to keep you updated as more information becomes available. Reporting in Elmira, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.